you know, for Florida. But no, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. And when you get a tough opportunity, you can look at it. You know, if, I, if Florida may be outside Close out there from Coons the hand up. All we need now is a whistle to get us to our final commercial <laughs> break. Otherwise, the audience will wonder why you don't just give them the answer now. That's nice defense, though. You know, I'm not just messing around. You can see the execution, the ball movement from the Yotes. The shots just have not fallen yeah. for them tonight. But Peterson scrapping and kissing. Seven or eight assists and 15 points. That's where he needs to stand. And I think we've seen through the month of November and early December, there's enough in this arsenal that he doesn't need to get 20 for his team to score really efficiently. Now, we get to the new year, we get to leave. Had a big impact on that. He had 34 blocks on the year. Evan Batty and Lucas Seward are not shot blockers. So rim protection and low post consistent scoring every night, I think, are the holes of this Colorado team. So when you get a bigger roster like UCLA, for instance, in exactly. conference play, Right, the only senior on the roster, and I would argue the best six man in the Pac-12 thus far. And of course, last year Dom Collier was the co-Pac-12 six man of the year, along with Remy Martin of Arizona State. Maybe they'll have two years in a row of that award. It's one of my favorite awards. That and the most improved. Those are my two favorite. Well, one of Tad's youngest teams, but also one of his deepest and most. For Amude, all off the bench. Dotson loses the handle. Moore pokes it away. Let's the defense catch up. Oh, you got to be kidding. Baseline move by Fox. <laughs> on the weak side, Peterson with a You go score on the other end, and you let me score on the other end. That's what those two are doing right now. I don't think Bill Self would be happy with that. Much longer. Yeah, he doesn't want to trade baskets. <laughs> Peterson. Maybe got away with a little bit of a push, and Peterson didn't switch, and I, I don't think they wanted to switch on that particular one. Not the shot, perhaps. And McCormick throws one up left-handed. And up over McCormick. I'm sure Bill said, hey, guys, would you just please pass the ball around? You know, yeah, please. Real low key. Pretty cool. Yeah. Can you do a good thing? Yeah. Just like that. You'd mind. Would you mind maybe passing the ball a little bit? Uh, nice play by Tyler. Well, I won't use your weight. I'll use mine. It's not like coming back on, on my weight. I mean, he's got another 70 or 80 pounds to carry around. Exactly. And a three-pointer is good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shot no good. The nice drive in. Shot no good by Birch Manning. And an offensive rebound for South Dakota. Peterson finds himself open. Minutes of the second half. Let's see how it works here. Bears down by one. Oh, and a follow up. But Townsend. With 10, Murphy with 16, Roscoe's got 10, his career high is 11. With Jones, and I think I think you got an opportunity to drop that ball into Jones as often as you want. Yeah, get a head fake there and see if you can pick up that fourth personal. Peterson is their post-up player. He gets fair to say both these teams will probably be in the bonus with, with eight minutes to play because South Dakota has five team fouls, the Pioneers have four. Peterson with the basketball, kicks it back out on top. Goodrick penetrates. Goodrick still with the basketball, going to dribble in. Now Peterson kind of posts up, trying to get something to happen. Townsend defends him, but that one's off the glass, and that's school.